Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-April 2021 general love reading. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here. And if you've been subscribing for a bit or a while, welcome back guys. Thank you for all the love and support. Before I get into the reading, I do want to quickly mention my two-year anniversary giveaway that I'm holding because April 20th marked the two-year anniversary of me starting the channel. It's been an amazing journey, and I want to give back to you guys for supporting me and being there for me. So I'm giving away boxes of goodies that contain tarot decks, candles, crystals, all that fun metaphysical stuff. And if you're interested in, in winning a box from me, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. But all right, let's get into this. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message. Also, not every single message in this reading may be for you as this reading is general. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Scorpio, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if, you, if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I do want to remind Scorpio and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this means that you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if you feel that resonates with your specific situation the most. All right, Scorpio, let's do this. All right, so Scorpio, for this reading, I'm gonna be tuning into an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm gonna ask, how do they feel about you at this time? What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they don't like about you? What they like about the connection that they have with you currently and what they don't like about it? And what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you, Scorpio. Okay, so there's a union here between you and someone else that has always meant to be, but there is some sort of delay. If it wasn't a delay, um, it, okay, some of you guys have recently reconnected, and if not, you're about to connect, reconnect very, very soon. Um, They've been feeling and wanting you back in their life, Scorpio, or feeling and wanting to have this union with you and only you. And really, they think you're the only one that can give them the Ten of Pentacles that they've always wanted in a relationship. Um, I mean, I feel for some reason the need to say they've grown up. I don't know. Maybe that was part of the reason why you guys haven't been in union. Someone decided to split it off. Um... But really, Scorpio, with the Two of Cups, Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, they know only being with you will give them the relationship, the love, the care, the support that they would need ever in a connection. Truly, they have no one else in mind when they think of, you know, who is the one person that you can see yourselves being forever with? You pop up in their mind. And there had to have been some growth, I feel, before you guys could really become in union with one another. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, that's kind of what I feel. And now that they truly have understood their feelings for you, have done that growth, now it's you. And what's funny is um, 
you know, I've, I saw this image, I don't know if this is going to resonate with you at all, but it could be completely metaphorical, but you know those like claws at the arcade that has all those stuffed animals, they kind of have a crappy grip, but it's like you steer it in and then you dive for it, and it's like picks up, you, you, you know that, right? Um, and what I feel with that Scorpio, or even the both of you, like you are very particular in wanting each other, but the grip throughout all the times when there was opportunities to take it to that level, it just didn't land. I feel sometimes it was outside factors. Sometimes it was just because someone wasn't really truly ready to be in alignment with this. And now they are. Now they are. Yeah, in the recent past, or in the past of this, we do have the devil card. Capricorn energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Doesn't have to be the case. But this is the growth that they have done within themselves. I feel Scorpio, which you guys do very well, just being Scorpios. Um, you really show people the shadow sides of themselves or you surface that from within them through interactions with you. You're the kind that kind of dives deep and really is able to transform the shadow. And I don't know if you really... You, realize that you only don't do this within yourself, you do it within other people. And yeah, in the past, they were a bit low vibrational. They were more about, you know, the physical interactions between the two of you or the lower vibrational interests that they may have had in life. Um, you know, the money, the cars, the jobs, and there's nothing wrong with getting the bag. That's not what I'm saying, but it was as if they kind of used the material as a way to fill something up within them that only love could do. And that's what you have done for them, Scorpio. Um, but I mean, man, with the devil in the past, you guys have had an intense connection, a strong bond with one another. But for some reason, yeah, there was just either that was it or there was some sort of karmic or karmic situation that prevented you guys from being in the union. Um, it could have been a third party ish because I don't really feel like you guys were able to fully fulfill this, but it was like someone's karmic that would just not go away. But that has ended now for anyone that resonates with. But for most of you, yeah, you have transformed this person out of the lower vibration into a higher vibration. And it was all karmic what they were dealing with too. And it's like the interaction with you, the connection with you kind of showed them what was still lingering in them. That was karmic. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. How they feel about you, Three of Cups. This is Cancer Energy. So different messages for different groups. For some of you, this is what they want, what they've been longing for, a reconciliation, a reunion, because they have been missing you and they've had had their best times with you. They only feel this emotionally fulfilled when they're with you. And they really think about all those times you guys have had the best of times together. Certain trips you want, went on, certain dates you went on. Um, all of your intimate moments as well. Like again, I can't emphasize more how you guys are just connected mind, body, and soul. And that has always been ringing true in the back of their minds when they think of you. And others of you, this is recent. Recently, you've become reunited in this. And they've been so happy that this is given, being given another chance to be with you. I feel like someone loves hugging or like approaching a hug from the back. You know, wrapping their arms around your waist, kissing your cheek from behind. Maybe you do that for them. What they think of you, Scorpio, the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, you're it. You're the one that can fulfill this desire that now they have of sharing their abundance and prosperity with a partner who will work to build this and grow this into something long-lasting, committed, stable. I mean... It, it, I don't know why I've just heard you're like the whole bag of potato chips. I don't know if you're eating some right now. Uh, but like 
all that in a bag of potato chips, I guess, is the, kind of the saying, in it, and it's absolutely true. Like, there's nothing you don't have that they don't want. And I think you know it too, in a way. Or maybe you, f you both reflect each other in this. But I feel that both of you are on the same page as how now, finally, you can see this happening between the two of you, where it may have taken a long time. Now you see where this can go down the yellow brick road to the legacy. And I don't know, you guys are just that it couple everyone wants to be when they see you guys together in that happy moment and those happy vibrations. Everyone just looks at you guys and says, that's what I want to be when you guys are like this or when you were like this. Um, I feel like in someone's living room, they have like a mirror above the couch as part of decor. Um, I also feel that someone's vegetarian perhaps or vegan or trying to be as well. Could be just confirmations for someone out there, not for everyone. So what they like the most about you, Scorpio, is the two of pentacles. This is... Capricorn energy. So what they like about you, Scorpio, is that you, there's nothing you can't do. You have a lot of goals, a lot of dreams, a lot of projects, and you do it all, and you do it a damn good job at it. Um, I also feel with this, you don't have trouble making the hard decisions that you need to make for yourself. That's what I get with this as well. Um, and with this two of pentacles, I feel, Scorpio, that some of you may have like two jobs or just you do a lot for yourself and others when it is serving you, when it is helping you. And you do it humbly. I find you to be humble or, or that's what they see when they look at you for all that you are. And a lot of people would be kind of cocky with you are in just a higher vibration of just accepting it, applauding it, and just carrying on. Maybe sometimes they think you don't treat yourself as much as you should. Or give yourself that time to take a break from all your work, all your stress, and just relax. But you're just like a workhorse, I kind of get. And they're attracted to that. Someone could be lighting incense in their room right now. I'm hearing like dragon's blood or frankincense or that's something that you have in your bedroom. Deepest fears, or sorry, what they don't like about you, my goodness, is the eight of swords, Gemini energy. I gotta be honest, Scorpio, for some of you, they may think you get in your head a lot. Um, that you may get, you know, you don't share with a lot of people the stress you go through because you want to appear strong. You want to appear like you don't need help. And maybe sometimes during those instances where you were like that, they found it hard to get close to you because you're always distracted with everything else going on in your life. And it was only them that kind of saw the side to you. You were the, like out of anyone, they were the only ones you kind of revealed that side to you that does have a lot of stresses and fears at times when you are a bit overwhelmed and go through too much. But I think with this of what they don't like about you, it's like, how can I help this? What, talk to me. And, you know, I got to say that there could be some sort of level of trust issues um, that could have stemmed from the past, especially if they weren't reliable or weren't consistent. And they're hoping they can regain that. I, again, like, I don't feel there's cheating per se, but I feel more it's like, you know, there's been many times when my, my hopes were brought up and when it didn't pull through, it didn't come through, I was crushed. And I don't want to be put in that again. And I'm seeing a futon as well someone could own that maybe there had been intimate moments on. What they liked the most about this connection, Scorpio, Two of Cups. 
cancer energy. You're the one. You're the one they've bonded the most with. You're the one they've had the most connection with. You guys have been through your ups and downs together and you're still here. Or they, it's like, I don't know, there could be some sort of disappointments from the past, but the love that you have for each other, I don't feel will truly ever die out. It'll always stay strong. I just saw the letter O too, and then I saw double O's. Don't know if that will mean anything um, to someone out there. What they don't like about the connection judgment. So what I feel with this is that, you know, for this union to happen, for you guys to truly be together the way they feel it's always meant to be, this is like the last, like they feel almost as if they don't want to screw up the chance that they're given in this Scorpio. And I feel for others of you, like, someone just took such a long time to wake up to what this is, to wake up to the realization of how strongly we feel for each other, how much we have been bonded to each other, and what that really means, and how that can't be taken lightly. Um... And this goes for a karmic too, with that situation I was describing, like someone may not like the fact that someone else is bonded to another individual because they have kids with them. I mean, that's just kind of clear there as well. Highest hopes, the Empress, Taurus energy, Libra energy, that this is just going to grow. It's going to prosper. The love that you guys have for each other is what's going to nourish this connection further. The unconditional love, the trust, the support. Um, I mean, they only see this abundance and feel this abundance and prosperity with you, Scorpio. And I feel like this person really needs to show you how much you mean to them, how much they do cherish you. And I feel like they were the kind that when you would go out, they'd always put an arm around you, hold you close. Um, I'm also seeing lap sitting too in public areas, just like really, really knowing how much they care for you and love you. And I think if you haven't seen it so much from them before, you're going to see it now. Now that they truly understand what this is and what you mean to them. They want this to prosper. They want this to grow. But their deepest fear is the Seven of Swords. Aquarius energy. That there may have just been too much disappointment. That, you know, just their inconsistency is what ruined your hopes in this. And even some of the lower vibrational patterns they may have once had, you know, they can't. It's something that is still in the back of someone's mind. They're afraid that you won't let them back in again because of that. Or that even if they were to try in this, get back into union with you, have this with you, that it just wouldn't be the same as when you first connected. That energy has changed. Time has changed. Both of you. Them in a good way, but you in a way where it was kind of like it took a bit too long. But to see how this is all going to unfold, Scorpio, what's likely to unfold from this, what they're likely to do by the end of April, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, Scorpio, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. And I'm going to ask, Spirit, if there's anything else you need to know about this connection, about how they feel about you, what they see, 
in this with you, what their intentions are. Anything else that Scorpio needs to know about how this person feels for them? It is safe for you to love. When they come back into union with you, when they attempt to come back into union with you, or even if you guys are in union recently, they want you to know that you can open your heart so you can receive the highest energy of love, the highest energy of all that is coming from them. And then honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, for some of you, there's still some sort of trip that they always think about that you guys have had together. Maybe it was even like somewhere where you, the both of you drove multiple hours for to get there, like a weekend trip or even like someone went to someone's wedding, you were their date or they were um, your date to the wedding type of thing. But um, they're ready to show you how much they've missed this, how much they missed you and are planning a few things here to really make up for lost time. And then yeah, under that reconciliation. Absolutely, Scorpio, this will happen. This union will happen. Wow, okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me there, I'm gonna overturn this card to see what's likely to unfold by the end of April. I'm also gonna pull some Oracle cards as well so I can ask your angels what they think about this connection, what they think about this person, what you need to know, anything like that. So if you're interested in joining me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the reading. But if this is where we depart, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it is giving you insight in regards to what may be unfolding in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.